What's going on, family? We are starting off May 1st. This is actually episode 50. Mm. We got Billy Floyd here. It's like 7 a.m. I haven't even touched the weight yet. You know what they say, or you know what I say, April showers bring May powers. Come on, turn me up. May's gonna be the sickest month in the history of Legacy, in the history of me, me and Billy collabing. You guys have no idea. This, these next 31 days are about to fucking blow your mind. We're Yo, ready for it. Can We're I talk it right some shit here. to the vlog talk real quick? Shit. Let me talk some shit to the vlog real quick. This is a sign right here, right now. And I'm about to get real with you. If you got something that you want to bring to life, if you got something that you really want to create, you need to take action on that right now. I had a great phone call <clears throat> with my pup boo last night and he told me, plan your work and work your plan. So think of something that you wanna do, a video that you wanna make, whatever it might be, that's just the best example I can think of. Plan the work and then work the plan. Actually make it happen, actually take action. The only reason, and I know this for sure, the only reason why you're not doing it is because you care so much about what other people are gonna think. And all these other people, with all due respect, they're not doing shit. They're not creating, they're not putting themselves out there. They're the sissies in the seats judging the men and the women in the arena. So get the fuck up off your ass and go do some creation. Because with all due retupect, Fuck what they think. Make it happen. Happy May, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have ourselves a day. I'm like a freight train, girl. I'm rolling home to you. My heart's like a chick. Oh, fuck. I love this song. It's Jordan Davis. No time soon, but I don't know the lyrics. We just worked up in sets of three. 495, gonna get into some squats now. All right, again with squats, I worked up in triples today, and I stopped right here, this is a 385 single, it felt pretty heavy. Also, I've never used Beats headphones before, but they are so strong, it's crazy. Like, the music is, I can't even hear myself talk. So, my headphones are dead, so I ended up stealing these from out of the covers and like, using them for today, but. I might have to give up some pair of beats, they're sick. Got my heart, got my heart on my sleeve. Cause somebody's got me. I actually love singing, dancing during every workout. Benny and Billy always have to put up on my shit. Currently 8.30 a.m. I'm just finishing up with the workout. I ended up like deadlifting, squatting, like all my normal leg stuff, but I feel like that's kind of like boring for you guys to watch over and over. So I decided not to film the workout itself. I have a feeling that today's gonna be a very busy day. It's Monday, it's the first of the month. That usually means that shit kind of hits the fan and there's a bunch of things going on. So going up to the office now, get some work done. I have some clients this morning, a break, and then right back to it tonight. Gonna be a long day, a grinder, but we wanna get through it. Happy Monday. Currently one o'clock and we're in the laboratory creating content. Content creation is what we do. Content is king. Give me the crown, baby. Give them the crown. Give all the creators the crowns. Content is king and queen. Say that. Free marketing too. Like just posting out there, it doesn't cost anything. You just keep putting it out, putting it out, putting it out. It's kind of what I did when we were in the garage. I literally was relentless on the story to like put it out, put it out, put it out, and then shit sticks. More people see it, more people want to get involved. Marketing is key for anyone trying to operate a business. That's why when I'm operating, he's operating, Bree's operating, Sydney's operating, uh, A-Rod's operating, when the whole crew is operating, that's when we have the best returns. So we've been operating lately, and I love that word. Operating is my, my favorite word in the world. Midday liberation equals upstate and the post office today. Billy, Jesus, buddy. God. Yo, there's just nothing better, and I mean nothing better than giving someone a Kowalski cup or giving someone a locked in bracelet or giving free legacy merch. Like, yeah. there's just nothing better than pushing the product, pushing the I positivity, love, pushing I love giving free the shit. greatness. 
giving it away and putting it in the hands of the right people is literally what I live for. Like the fact that we're going to drop this off to Jesse Hurathy Hammond just makes my heart I so had, full. I had a girl. Hell I had a yeah. girl reach out to Hell me. Hell yeah! Listen to this. I had a girl reach out to me yesterday. Mm. She wanted free merch. I was like, "What the hell do I look like?" Who's this? Like just someone on Instagram? Just hit you up? Like, yeah. I want free merch? No, 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 no. It was a girl that I know, but she okay. hit me up and asked. She was like, "When do I get some free merch?" What'd you like, say? I mean, it's kind of a slap in the face to me. Yeah, you should support. Well, your like, like you, owners. like if I give you something for free, that's a gift. But if you're asking, you don't for ask it, for that. Yeah, no, like you don't think respectfully I've don't ask. Busted my balls to make money to pay for that, and now yeah, Trey's here. It's Trey. Yeah, How's we should going, invite guys? Trey. You want to go for a ride to Upstate in yep. the post office? <laughs> yeah, we like Trey. Come on, Trey. Come inside. Trey's got his first car. It's just fine. Worry. What did I say? She had to do for you once now. A store? Chicken Al Pastor. Does Upstate have Al Pastor? Upstate Al Pastor. Come on in. Balls and shakes are just fine. In charge. Billy, we didn't edit the video yet, right? Not yet, but it the should be out. It should be out things. Sunday, I believe. We have so much content right now, we don't even know no, what to do with it. Video. That's what he's, I'm talking about. That's what we're talking about. Ate a lot of balls that day. You like the balls, though. We, we're all, we're all, all balls. You guys were here and that woman was here, and she was, you guys were talking about balls. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Come for the no, shake no. and stay for the balls. <laughs> That's our logo. Is it that, actually? Can we put that on a t-shirt? I would wear that everywhere. Come for a shake and stay for the balls. <laughs> can you imagine? How? Oh. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Happy May 2nd, 2023. Would you believe me if I said I'm in love? Baby, I want you to want me. How can I take this man seriously right now? Happy baby, happy bro. Baby. Come on. Come on. Happy baby with me. Normalize doing happy baby in public. Or maybe in private at your house. But it's alright, either way. My compounds are done. I did 365 by 3 on the squat, 495 by 4 deadlift. Now I have like literally 15 minutes before clients, so I'm gonna superset power cleats, snatches, dips, pull-ups, and leg raises. Five movements, I'm gonna do this shit in 10 minutes. Get through it quick. It's just before 7.30. That's gonna wrap up today's workout. That's how I get shit done quickly if I have to, like if I really so Hit the two compound movements, focused on those. Whew. Then I circuited power cleans, pull-ups, toes to bar, dips. Did that three times through, sets of eight, except the power clean was five. Then I just superset snatches and ab wheel. Good full body workout, deadlift, squat, power clean, pull-up, dip, toes to bar, ab wheels. Snatches, done, deleted, on with the day. What's going on Legacy fam? Currently two o'clock, I'm sliding out to get either Upstate or Chipotle, I'm not too sure yet. One or the other, I'm freaking hungry. I had clients all morning after that workout you just saw and then had to make a few phone calls and then more clients tonight. I feel like there's like so much going on lately. Like I, it's hard for me to wrap my head around. There's actually, like so many projects and I almost like feel like I can't keep it all straight in my head. It's been very overwhelming to say the least. However, if there's one thing that's like a staple, it's like the family and the people at the gym and I feel like given how crazy things have been, it's nice knowing that I have like a very like solid like support system I wanna say and like the people that are helping me, the members, 
everyone. I'm just like truly so grateful and thankful and I really couldn't do what I do without the help of everybody around me. And so a lot of people are, have been like reaching out lately and they're just like almost like thanking me for what I do for them. But ultimately it's like you guys all do something for me too. And like every single person that comes to my gym, everyone that supports and swipes up or watches the videos or likes the photo, like all of that, all of that support and love. Like I feel that. And that's like the fuel to my fire. And like, you guys give me life. You give me the energy to want to do more. I was talking with a client this morning and I t said to her, I was like, I could like run this business and be a trainer and like not do anything other than like train people. And like, that could be like, it's still like make enough money to pay my bills, but like everything else, all of the extracurricular, the clothing, the basketball, the powerlifting meets, the like fun things that we do, all of that is driven by wanting to do more for the people that come to our gym to hear them out. And when people want new equipment, it's like, okay, well send me the link and then I'll get it. Like all of these things I want to do for people. And I love helping people. I love making other people happy and, and making an impact on them. So you guys fuel me. And I know that that fuels like my, my like actions fuel you guys, but it goes both ways. And I couldn't do it without you. I could not do it without all of you. So I'm super thankful from the bottom of my heart and it means the world to me. You guys are truly my family and this is like probably the biggest family out there because I don't even know one day when I'm going to have like a wedding how I would even go about inviting people. Like we'd probably have to rent out like the Times Union Center. I just feel like that's how many people mean so much to me in this life. So I appreciate all of you guys and time to eat because your boy's hungry. Whoa, whoa, on the vlog? Who's on the vlog? Oh what? gosh. What? I literally didn't come out. Nope, that'd be. You can't say this stuff on camera. This is practice. Bro. I didn't say camera out. The camera's That's always on, bro. I have to be How much careful. Happy birthday, Alex. Thank you. And it's Ben's birthday. Ben it's Valentine? Ben Saltzman. Oh, it's Ben Valentine's Saltzman. I ended up going to Chipotle for lunch. I forgot to update the vlog. But we back, baby. And I got a meeting, clients, all sorts of fun. Currently 8 p.m. and I'm signing out for the day. It's been an incredible evening here. Uh, we had a lot of fun. The energy has just been immaculate lately, even though the weather is like shit. It's really cold and not seasonable, but I'm looking forward to next week having that summer weather. Some of our college kids coming back. It's going to be a movie. We were talking tonight and game planning and like just this entire month is about to be crazy and I'm ready for it and I cannot wait and I'm excited to like present to you guys the things that we've been working on. So. Love you guys. Talk to you tomorrow.